summary of Nice Girls Don't Get Rich. 75 Avoidable Mistakes Women Make With Money. By Lois P. Frankel. Women and money, a complicated relationship. Many women have a strained relationship with wealth. That doesn't prevent them from making money, but it hinders their ability to create lasting financial independence. Women often rob themselves of their full potential to build wealth and independence because of messages learned in girlhood, cultural and social expectations, or financial mistakes along the way. If you think of achieving financial independence as a game, perhaps you will be more aware of its rules and strategies, and become a more successful player. Many women were taught as girls to play nice. Now change the message, play to win. Focus on your goal and work hard to get what you deserve. Avoid these mistakes. Not trying to get rich, ego for it. Envision how you want your life to be. Talk to successful women and supportive friends and family members. Not setting a fiscal target, assign a dollar figure to the life you envision. Set your financial goals, research the costs and subtract your savings to identify your objective. Not calculating your net worth, list your assets and subtract your liabilities. Not playing to win, develop a competitive attitude. Concentrate on your strategy. Heeding downbeat people is share your dreams with supporters, not naysayers. Erecting false barricades is see wealth as the amount you need to live fully without. Worry. Assess whether your life is aligned with your values. Being too detail-oriented or too general, balance the big picture and the small. Details by brainstorming your financial plan with big scope people and nitpickers. Playing it safe, I dream about what you'd love to do. Act to make it happen. Take control of your finances. Put aside childhood hindrances. Take an active role in your financial life. Put your own financial security first, instead of taking care of everyone else. Set aside time to work on your finances. Budget your time, space and money. Be a little selfish. Don't worry about stepping on toes, or egos. You can't always be nice if you're going to get to the facts. Ask for help from an unbiased third party if needed. If you really don't understand money management, become financially literate now. If you need an advisor, choose carefully. Particularly if you come into a sum of money, protect yourself by finding a trustworthy, well-informed professional. Spend a small, fixed percentage of your windfall on whatever you want, then put the rest into savings. Plan charitable giving carefully. Women are known for their intuition. You may have it, but you have to learn to trust it. If you feel you should say, no, then do. Go slowly. Take time to think things through. Make yourself and your finances a priority. Take a day to tend to your records and to maintain important assets, such as your home and your car. Your biggest asset is your health and peace of mind, so also tend to yourself. Schedule regular physical exams, exercise, eat and sleep well, and get outdoors when you can. Love and money. If your partner handles all the money, plan for the possibility of being alone in the future, through either death or divorce. Talk to your partner about all your finances, from the will to where the checkbooks are. If you are about to marry or move in together, talk about money first. If you are in a relationship, keep at least one bank account and one credit card in your name. Make sure your property and joint investments are in both names. If your relationship dissolves, never negotiate a settlement alone. Avoid giving away money or power by assuming your partner has your best interests in mind. Don't be rushed. Ask to see documentation. Negotiate a settlement that is reasonable to you and don't assume that keeping a large, expensive home is the best idea. Never tolerate a deadbeat dad. Protect your kids and your future by soliciting help from enforcement agencies and building a support network. Get good term life insurance. Generally, avoid being insurance poor. Research appropriate coverage so you get the types of insurance you truly need. Comparison shop, but don't be misled by rock-bottom prices. Become savvy about finances. Out-of-control spending can block your financial security. To understand how you spend money, look back at your same-sex parent for messages and models. 
women often use money to create daily comfort instead of making it work to create wealth. If the messages you got in childhood still limit you, start spending money with intention and wisdom. To avoid spending impulsively, understand how your feelings affect your spending. Avoid shopping to soothe your emotions. If necessary, get professional help. Take time out before you make a big purchase. Calculate how many hours you have to work to earn its cost. Avoid impulse buying by making shopping lists. Cancel unnecessary catalogs. Don't use online shopping for entertainment. Instead, use your computer and other resources to research purchases ahead of time and to watch for sales, promotions, rebates and consumer incentives. The bigger the buy is like a car, the more important it is to research the product and the financing methods. Align your purchasing patterns with your true values. Try to be aware of the difference between wants and needs, so you can shop with intention. If you are buying something to impress someone, to assuage your guilt or to keep up appearances, you're on the wrong track. Respect your budget, buy gifts based on thought, not price. And avoid these mistakes. Carrying debt e negotiate your interest rate with your credit card companies, whittle down to one card, live within your means and try using only cash for a week. First job syndrome, often women don't spend wisely when they first start earning money. Allow yourself some play money and save a portion of your paycheck. Spending money to save money, buying in bulk or on sale to save money can tie up funds you could invest. Determine the real cost of bulk buying. Get smart about your money. To build wealth, manage your assets effectively. Use bill-paying software to help you track spending and make a budget that covers your monthly costs. Even if your partner does the financial planning, read, review and understand your financial statements. Make balancing your checkbook easier by banking online. Analyze your account and ATM activities. Schedule an annual update with your financial advisor. Keep track of the money you save by avoiding impulse spending, invest it and reward yourself with a small portion. How you save, invest and spend determines whether you become rich much more than how much you earn. You must save, but that isn't enough. Savings earn a fixed interest rate, investing has potential for growth, so you must invest. Don't rely on social security for all your retirement needs. Use IRA or 401k retirement accounts to invest as soon and as often as possible. Take advantage of compound interest. When you start investing, take small steps. Get educated by joining an investment club, reading the Wall Street Journal and using internet resources, such as the New York Stock Exchange website. Start by automatically saving $50 per month. Incrementally increase the amount to $100 and choose low-fee, low-investment funds. Watch your investments without emotion. Always diversify. Avoid these mistakes. Delaying the purchase of a home, shop for a starter home even if you're not ready to buy today. Research exactly what you can afford. Not leveraging company contributions, do not leave company money on the table. Contribute all you can, such as raises and bonuses, to the company retirement plan. Paying off good loans early, think twice about taxes when paying debt. Consider a home equity line of credit, and pay off credit cards first. Negotiate your credit card rates. Not planning for unexpected disability, consider disability insurance if an illness would financially devastate you. Assign a power of attorney to take effect if you are incapacitated. Enhance your opportunity for wealth at work. Women often fail to ask for what they deserve. Instead, they allow others, including their employers, to take advantage of them. Do not get stuck on the wrong side of the gender wage gap by believing that there's something wrong about making money. Ask for the salary you deserve, but only after you've gathered good data. Keep track of your accomplishments and assess your skills. Discuss your desires objectively. Seize opportunities to accept management roles and to do work you love. Then use your financial resources and time to give to others and find fulfillment. To maximize your earnings when you are negotiating for a new job, express your appreciation for the great offer, then ask for the perks you need and some you'd like. Confirm your understanding of the offer in writing and even be willing to walk away. 
If you're not a good negotiator, take a class. Always thoroughly prepare for negotiations. At work, carefully organize reimbursable receipts and tally your expenses. Take advantage of business travel by planning a personal vacation around a business trip. Find specials online, and arrange for your spouse or a friend to join you by offering to accept a lesser hotel or airline status in exchange an extra ticket. To continue your education, seek an employer with a tuition reimbursement program. Keep an eye on all training opportunities. And always take your vacation. Being off for a few days will not make or break your career, but skipping it may break you. If it's more palatable, take shorter, more frequent vacations, schedule all your breaks at the start of the year. If you freelance or work by the hour, don't give away your time. See if you can make money from your talents by determining their value in the marketplace. Develop a fee schedule and begin to build a business. Consider bartering for products and services. Create time boundaries, run your business to maximize profits and closely track billable time. Earn the fees you're worth by removing yourself from discussions about pricing. You should get paid for your expertise, not just your hours. Build a profit into your sales and add cost of living increases yearly. As you build your financial future, avoid these fiscal mistakes. Loaning money to family and friends, be smart when you lend. Understand exactly how your borrower will use your money, be sure you want to lend it, negotiate favorable terms and get everything in writing. Lend only what you can stand to lose. Not maximizing legitimate tax deductions, use financial software to track your deductions and keep solid records, refer to the Ernst & Young Tax Guide. Get good professional advice. Enabling adult children to lead unrealistic lifestyles. Avoid creating entitlement among your adult kids by citing financial independence as a goal they should achieve. Blame your money manager for not allowing you to give them money. Underestimating or ignoring the value of your assets. Learn the value of your belongings by having items appraised or looking for similar things on eBay. Search for lost or forgotten money, such as pensions, inheritances or forgotten accounts. Succumbing to sales pressure, avoid letting phone sales people bully you by registering for the National Do Not Call Registry. Practice how to say, no, to salespeople, thank you. I'm not interested, and consider using a broker next time you buy a car. Be a wise philanthropist. Women often feel compelled to offer their time and money for free. Philanthropy is truly a noble practice, however, make sure you are giving of yourself out of intention, not guilt or obligation. Avoid an unhealthy level of giving by planning ahead of time and sticking to your budget. Suggest alternatives to financial support, such as time, advice or other resources. Keep money and love separate, and feel free to just say, no. If you want to use your money to support an issue you care about, first get educated about every aspect of your cause. Research the organizations you could assist and understand how they will use your money. If you think you should start a foundation, consult an expert and explore such resources as the Council on Foundations.